Hello, my name is Sergio Rotaro and uh, I am a data analyst at Business Technology Provider. Today I will show you uh, one way to display variances uh, between dates in uh, Tableau. Uh, in order to achieve this uh, in Tableau, please follow uh, these steps. Uh, connect uh, first connect to, to data uh, in Tableau desktop uh, connect to uh, Superstore sample uh, data provided by Tableau uh, after that uh, right click on order date and uh, choose uh, a continuous uh, month okay add sales to rows Sales to rows. Uh, change the mark uh, in uh, in bar chart. Okay. Uh, drag order date uh, to filters. Choose uh, choose uh, the last uh, last year, 2020. Uh, set uh, set size uh, to size for bars uh, here to maximum. Okay. Uh, now uh, create a calculated field. Created a calculated field uh, named uh, dummy dummy date with uh, with this uh, this formula uh, date trunk date trunk uh, month order date plus 15. Why, uh, why 15? We want the, the variance line uh, uh, to be between uh, between two, two months. Uh, therefore, uh, 15 equal uh, an average of uh, 30 days between this uh, per month uh, split by two. So we want uh, our line to be to be here. Okay. I mean date. Let's uh, let's drag this uh, next to the month order date. Uh, choose continuous. Okay. Uh, dual axis. Make this dual axis. Synchronize it. Uh, uncheck show header from uh, from dummy date. Great. Uh, now I want uh, I want to change this. A second uh, second mark in uh, in Gantt bar okay now uh, now I want uh, I want to create uh, another calculated field named variance variance with uh, with this uh, this uh, formula zero null some sales some sales minus minus lookup zero null some sales uh, okay this we choose offset of one and uh, let's uh, multiply this by minus one okay Okay, here oh, we should have another parenthesis. Great. Uh, so we want to uh, to make uh, the difference between this one and the next one, offset of one. Okay. And because uh, the gun bar, we should uh, make this. Uh, we should uh, put uh, the this on uh, on size. We want. Uh, to, to multiply by minus one to uh, to change uh, change the the sign of, of this uh, this variance okay right now we'll drag uh, variance to size great uh, change this uh, this size a little bit okay right now uh, right now we will calculate uh, an 
create another we will create another uh, calculated field named percent or we should uh, we should duplicate variance edit uh, and we will rename it to percent variance we'll copy okay uh, this this one we want to split by want to split by this okay let's do this one okay great right now we have this uh, this percent variance let's uh, let's format uh, the number percentage custom plus plus zero minus zero percent okay okay if you uh, i add this to label i have uh, i have this uh, these variances uh, right now uh, i want to to color uh, um, to color the labels if uh, uh, the the percent variance is uh, is positive i want uh, to color uh, blue if it's negative i want to color uh, red uh, for now i i want to to change this uh, this bars uh, to to this color okay um, let's measure names from here and right now uh, i will create another another calculated field negative negative percent percent variance with this uh, this formula if variance percent less than zero then variance and this is negative percent variance i will duplicate this i I will change to greater than zero and this is positive so we have positive percent variance great now I will add, add this let's uh, let's remove this from labels I want to add this to in label uh, let's uh, let's format these numbers percentage plus plus zero minus zero percent great and right now i can color them di differently let's uh, let's color negative in red and uh, positive to blue Okay, we have uh, we have right now this this one. Uh, also, I want to to color these uh, these uh, bars from uh, from Gantt uh, to to be to be red for uh, for uh, negative values and uh, blue for positive values. Let's uh, let's create another calculated field percent percent variance sign with uh, this formula case sign sign variance percent variance when minus one then then negative when zero then zero I don't have here zero but let's do it when one then positive positive great and sign 
minus 1, 0, 0, 1 plus 2. Great. Now I want to, to drag these two, two colors. Okay, I have one, one null from here. Okay, because of this, uh, this calculated, uh, calculated fields, and uh, this is the last one. Uh, and uh, this point does doesn't have uh, the, the variance, so I will uh, color this to white, negative, negative, red, positive, blue. Okay, and I, I have. Uh, I have a nice, uh, nice bar chart with uh, variance between uh, between uh, dates. Okay, let's uh, let's format this a little bit. I want to make this uh, smaller. Okay, smaller, and uh, here I will remove the title. Okay, uh, I want to format uh, uh, dividers, column divider, and uh, here uh, I will uh, I will add axis rulers. Let me create this one. Let's something like this, and maybe. Maybe I will I will increase the size and uh, for grid lines I will go with this one. So this this is it. Uh, I will uh, call it display 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 variance variances between dates play variances between dates okay let's make it bold so uh, let's uh, let's make uh, a lit uh, some animations here on uh, and uh, I will uh, go I will show filter for uh, ship mode and uh, I will choose single value list and here I I want to filter and as you see this is the the result. Thank you for watching uh, for watching. Uh, if you have uh, any questions uh, please uh, feel free to contact us.